this will be a short um, section 4.4 homework helps and insights um, the good news is that section 4.4 is just an extension of section 4.3 so it'll just go into a little more de in-depth look at um, a specific part. And um, this will look at the binary system, which is um, base 2. The first problems that you'll end up looking at is you'll see some problems that have some light bulbs. So. Um, Anyway, I decided that light bulbs were boring and my little sunshines looked better than their little light bulbs. So anyway, here you have some light bulbs in the binary system. Um, and with these light bulbs, they basically represent base two. And in base two, you need to remember that you have two options. You either have a zero or a one, and those represent either an on or an off. So if you think about those light bulbs, um, the yellow color represents that they are on, the um, white color represents that they are off. And so if you kind of look up here at, um, at this diagram, you see that I have the same number of light bulbs. I have these little sunshine um, symbols up here to kind of represent exactly what you'll see in your homework. So it says, what decimal number is represented by the light bulbs shown below? And so you have, what we have to do is remember that this is basically the same exact thing that you were looking at. Um, you just wanna know what number is this in base two? So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go out and you're gonna need to, um, put in your place value holders. So that's going to be your first step. So we can do that. We have um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So the um, place value holders that we are concerned with is 6, 4, 3, and 2. And so we have 1 times 2 to the 6. We have 4, um, 2 to the 4th. Uh, 1 times 2 to the third, and 1 times 2 squared. So you can use your calculator and multiply all of those out. 2 to the sixth is 64, 2 to the fourth is 16, 2 to the third is 8, and 2 squared is 4. If you add all of those numbers up, you get 92. So this is a simple problem. Um, looks difficult at the beginning, but Really, it turns out to be pretty simple. All right. The next set of problems that you'll have will ask for you to write the number as a decimal number. So, for example, you are given um, 1110 in base 2, and they want you to write that as a decimal number. This is the same exact thing that you did in the last section with the directions of changing to base 10. So you already know how to do this. Um, all you are doing is changing this to base 10. So you can go back to section 4.3, look at those notes, pull up that video, but um, all you're gonna do is change this to base 10. So um, you should already know how to do that, okay? Um, the next set of problems is going to ask for you to write uh, this decimal number as a binary number. And so, again, this is just a difference in vocabulary. So they give you the number 56, which is written in base 10, and they're asking you to change this to base 2, which another word for base 2 is a binary numeral um, or a binary number. And so, um, again, this is where we did the um, steps of divisions where you just keep dividing by 2. And then the remainder answers is will be your answer. And so, um, so go back to section 4.3, pull up that video, and you should be able to um, answer these problems without any problem at all. Okay, um, you have two questions that ask about um, ASCII 
codes. Um, and so I went and just, um, I decided I would just pull this chart off for you. Um, the part of this chart that you're going to want to um, see if I can pull up my highlighter here. Um, the, the part that you're going to be interested in is um, over here. Let's see, it's going to be this decimal. So, and the character. So, for example, um, so if I wanted to know L, it would represent the decimal 76 in ASCII code. Um, if I wanted to know the lowercase l, it would be decimal 108. Okay, so if you will just look at those two columns, and that will um, that will just help you out with those. So that's merely just taking a look at that. Um, you can look down here. I just pulled this up from um, www.lookuptables.com. Um, Google is a wonderful source of help. So that's nothing you need to memorize, nothing that you need to know any mathematical formulas for. It's merely just looking up those characters and matching them up to their, um, their decimal um, equivalents. All right. All right, the last couple of problems are about binary addition and subtraction. Um, these can be a little tricky, and so I wanted to take um, just a couple of minutes to go over a few of these problems. The easiest way that I thought to, that would help you is to um, give you this information right here, and this is what helped me the most. If you can write these four facts down about binary addition, I think that it'll help you whenever you work through those problems. Zero plus zero is equal to zero. Zero plus one equals one. One plus zero equals one. And then one plus one equals 10. I know, of course, your entire life, you've always thought one plus one equals two, but in binary addition, one plus one actually equals 10. So, um, so this is again binary addition, so you only have ones and zeros. So let's look at how this works in an actual problem. So let's say we have um, one, one, one in base two, and we're adding 10 to base two to that. Now you're gonna add um, vertically, just like you would um, you know, any other problem. So here you have one, um, plus zero. And so when we do that, we're going to have one, one plus zero is one. And I know that because I went over here to my table. One plus zero is equal to one. Okay, now I'm going to go to my second one. One plus one. I'm going to go over here to my table. And one plus one is equal to 10. Now, whenever you get a 10, you're going to put a zero and then you're going to carry the one. Okay, so I'm going to put a zero. I'm going to carry the one. All right, now I'm going to get one plus one. Go over to my table, one plus one equals to 10. In this case, there's no thing else. Um, I'm just going to, because I'm finished, I'm going to write the 10 down and I actually have my answer, which is 1001 in base two. Okay, you want to make sure that you write that base two down, or otherwise, um, you know, it, it does look really funny. So, um, all right, let's look at another example. Let's say we have 1101 and we're adding 1100. Okay, so we're going to add vertically to that. So, 1 plus 0 is equal to um, 1. Okay, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. All right, now we get into one plus one. So here's our 10 where we have to carry. Um, so we carry our one. Now here's something which is interesting in it. And this is where you have one plus one plus one. Now this is interesting because I don't have any of that over here, okay? So you have one plus one is 10, and then you're adding another one to it. 
Well, when you have a case like that, you actually get where it's 10 plus 1, which is 11. So um, we're not going to get too technical, and actually you don't even have any examples where you get an 11 in your homework. But I did want to show you that because that is a very likely case where you would you can get that. So I wanted you to know that. So if you have 1 plus 1 plus 1, you can get 11. So, um, so 11... 0, 0, 001 in base 2 would be your final answer. All right, so that's binary addition. I know you've got a problem like that. All right, and the last one that I want to do is actually binary subtraction. And there isn't actually, um, there aren't any notes at all about binary subtraction. So um, no notes about binary subtraction um, in the text. So I kind of had to back into this, um, and the best way that I can explain it to you is just to give you this table again, um, and, and this is how it works. So if you have 0 minus um, 0 minus 0 will give you 0, 1 minus 0 will give you 1, 1 minus 1 will give you 0, and then 10 minus 1 will give you 1. Okay, so let's look at one example. All right, so we have 101 minus 11. All right, so 1 minus 1. Look over here, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that one is not too bad. Now, 0 minus 1. We do not have a 0 minus 1 because we can't take 1 from 0. So we actually have to borrow the 1. So it's very similar to borrowing. Um, you could just say that this is 10 minus 1. Um, so I, I could have done that, 10 minus 1. Um, I also went ahead and just said, okay, well, and this is, I'm doing this because you may have like a longer problem where you actually have to borrow from, let's say that this was um, five numbers and this was four numbers, and you might have to borrow from several numbers. But um, in this case, you would be borrowing a 1, and so that would turn to 0, and then this would turn to 10, okay? So then 10 minus 1, if you go over here, 10 minus 1 is 1. So your final answer in that case is 10 base 2. All right, so I don't want you to stress too much over binary addition and subtraction. Um, it's just kind of a, a weird thing. I think you only have a couple of problems on that, but I didn't want you to stress over it, so I wanted to give you some help on that. You do have a few extra problems. Um, they give you some charts and some guidelines on those, um, but I think that if you just read over those charts, you should be able to answer those in your homework. So this was a quick section and hopefully you'll be able to breeze through it. So hope you have a great week. Thanks.